Hey guys, what's going on? It's Evan here, and in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to avoid uh, running into hackers in um, your 1v1 or even 2v2, or really any kind of ladder matches or wager matches on UMG or game battles. So on Xbox One, there are hacks for AW. It's going to be patched in the near future, but until then, I want to make a short little video uh, showing you guys how to avoid it. So first off, um, what the hacks are is a personal UAV, and some people have extra health and... Uh, stopping power and stopping power basically kills you faster and I haven't been able to confirm the other two um, with the extra health and stopping power but I'm pretty sure they are a thing but for the personal UAV obviously I do a lot of singles and personal UAV if they know where I am at all times it's obviously a huge problem so there's really no chance of you ever winning a, uh, a singles match playing against those kinds of players so later in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to identify who's hacking and who's not and for now, if you do run into a hacker, I have a, make sure you always have a class right here. This is my hacker class. And basically, it's just a normal class that I would normally have. And I just have, instead of, uh, on a normal class I have, you can, I, you can see I have lightweight and overcharge. And on my hacker class, I have lightweight and low profile. So just know low, low profile, what it does is it is invisible to UAVs. So, that just basically counteracts the... Uh, Personal UAV. Some people still will have the effect of extra health and you know stopping power, but this should help you out a lot. I've been playing quite a bit of hackers on Xbox One in singles, and low profile has ba basically made them not know where I am at all times, and I've absolutely raped everybody, all the hackers I've played. Because if you run into a hacker, it is usually an easy win because they rely on their hacks to win their matches. They usually got a pretty good record, but if you have low profile on, it will kind of act that UAV and they're pretty much clueless because they have no idea what to do playing legitimately so that's that guys and now I'm going to be getting into showing you guys how, what to look out for uh, who's hacking and who's not alright guys so here's my team page here for my singles team and as you can see if you go into my matches here I got quite a bit of disputes and all these disputes are actually against hackers and I've noticed that all the hackers I've played just dispute no matter what if they lose so first guy here, I identify as a hacker. I didn't even know him before now, but I uh, right off the bat, as you can see, a lot of disputes. So whenever you play somebody in singles, make sure you click on their team page and look at this kind of stuff. As you can see, he's disputing a lot of matches. And that basically just means all the matches that he's lost because of low profile, he disputes them. So that's just a play indicator. And another indicator is that he has a really good record. And obviously you can have a good record legit, but 10-1, that's a pretty good record to start off uh, AW here. And then we're going to go into his, uh, his profile. Let's take a look at his profile here. $28 earnings. Well, that's a little suspicious, right? You're thinking here, hmm, on my profile, I have $1,600 in earnings. And I don't even have a 10-1 record. So you look at this, and this dude only has $28 earnings. That means he just made his account recently, and he's already winning almost every one of his matches. So that right off the bat basically signifies that this is a ringer account. If you guys don't know what a ringer account is, it's basically a second account that you'd make. So, you know, let's say I have my avatar an account or my deny avatar account, whatever you want to call it, and then I make another account with a different name. And I would basically make a new uh, UMG account, and I'd also have a new gamer tag to go along with that. And basically I'd hide from the public, and if I get banned in that account, I wouldn't get banned on my main account. So that's what these accounts are. As you can see, he's got a terrible rank, and he's got no trophies at all. So you can tell this is a ringer. And if you look at his his games played, he's barely he's barely got any games played. So definitely a ringer right there. So that's one thing you want to look out for. And let's take a look into the other guys that have disputed that I both know are hackers. Let's look at this guy's team page. As you can see, pretty good record. Not as good as the other guy. He did take quite a bit of losses in a row. Not sure what's up with that, but. If you look at his profile here, only thirteen hundred. Uh, actually, not thirteen hundred. Thirteen dollars in earnings. Terrible rank again, and no trophies. So, another ringer account. And also, social media is another good thing to tell. Like he doesn't really have any social media link. And sometimes Prime is also a way to tell if they don't have Prime. And final one. I'm pretty sure this is I Hunt Goblins ringer. If you guys know him, he's a pretty good player. But this dude, he was. Uh, he was one though when he played me, but it doesn't really matter how what the record is as long as they're like pretty much undefeated. But as you can see, this guy's four and zero right now, and he he disputed me because I six zero him. 
and I hunt Jordans. I'm gonna click on his profile here. I'm pretty sure this is I hunt Goblins, like I said. And he only has 20, $24 earnings, terrible rank, and no trophies, and no social media as well. So these are some things to look out for, so be aware for hackers, guys, they are a thing. And if you think somebody's hacking, just put on your uh, low profile. It's really no big deal. At first I was getting pissed off because of all the hackers, but it really doesn't matter. It's just usually when you play a hacker, it's an easy win because they're expecting to cheat, and when they're not able to cheat, they're kind of clueless of what to do. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to give, give it a like. And if uh, you know anybody else that plays game battles or wager matches or UMG matches on the Xbox One, uh, make sure to show them this video so they can be aware as well of uh, you know, what to look out for so you can't let these hackers take advantage of you. So, that's all for the, today, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.